Hallelujah. We're going to go right into this Bible study. Yeah. Yeah. We're going right straight into it, the canopy of God's protection. Mm -hmm. Psalm 91. Yeah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is good. All the time. Have my backup crew tonight. Yes. God is a good God. Yes, he is. I know God is a good God. Yes, he is. I know God is a good God. Yes, he is. I know God is a good God. Yes, he is. I know God is a good God. Yes, he is. I know God is a good God. Yes, he is. 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 I know God is a good God. Yes, he is. Of the Lord. 
praise God. Amen. We thank God for how he has blessed us. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Through it all. Through, Through it all. all. Through every pain, every attack of the enemy, we still stand Come on. Amen. Amen. Yes. How many of you are determined to keep on yes. keeping yes. on? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. You got a few folks to say, I'm, I'm in I know this is warfare. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah, God is saying, God has mm -hmm. told us in his word that mm -hmm. we got to move from just being a soldier to a conqueror. Come on. All right. That's over somebody's head. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And so when you talk about conquering things, that means when you show up, you're Come not on. looking for to buy nothing about being defeated, yes. nothing stolen. Yes. You're yes. coming to take yes. over some yes. things. Yes. 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 Uh, we oh, need to God. send a message mm -hmm. to Washington, D.C. Hallelujah. We're more than conquerors. Oh, yes. 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 We do the good thing. We got the backing of Almighty God. Yes. Yes. Come on now. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Prayer still works. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter what's going on in our land, mm -hmm. amen, we need to still pray. Mm -hmm. Amen. The power of prayer. Amen. I'm not going to be before you long tonight, but our hearts are still burning from mm -hmm. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Amen. The yes. urgent sea of now. Of now. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We declare that something has mm -hmm. got to change. Yes. Amen. Yes. Whatever yes. happened in 2020, mm -hmm. it's gone. Mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. Can't go back and get it. <laughs> we in a whole new era. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. And I, I believe God is telling us the body of Christ is urgent. Yes. The yes. time yes. is now. Yes. Amen. To allow God to use us, to work through us in a greater uh, posture of mm -hmm. surrender. Amen. Uh, God, I want to surrender more in 2021. Yes. Amen. Anybody got want to Jesus. surrender more? Yes. God, I want you to use me in a greater capacity yes. to serve yes. your people, yes. oh God. Yes. I was selfish yes. last year. Jesus. I only cared about me, myself. And I only cared about my family. I only was there. But God opened my heart up yes. to my territory yes. and spread me, oh yes. God. Yeah. Enlarge my territory, Jesus. oh God. I want a greater anointing. Yes. Uh, uh, what good is it to serve God and you got no anointing? You got no power, oh God. Oh, Jesus. Here somebody said, Lord, I just need to be endowed one more time. Yes. Come on. Lord, endow me yes. with your Holy Ghost power. Yes. on to yes. greater yes. and time to surrender. You mm -hmm. know, one thing that we have to learn how to do is surrender our will to his will. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we got to go through God's process of preparation and sanctification. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's nowhere around it. If we're going to be living a surrendered life mm -hmm. to God, we yes. got to go through God's process of preparation mm -hmm. and sanctification. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the way God looks at us, he looks at us the way differently than we see ourselves. Yes, yes. We look at our flaws. We look at our limitations. And we judge our future by our limited of thinking, mm -hmm. our limited education, our yes, limited yes, abilities. Yes, but yes. God sees greatness in you. Jesus. All right, a couple mm -hmm. folks don't get happy tonight. Hey, <laughs> if I have just, just a thought tonight, moving on to greatness greater. Mm -hmm. Amen. Moving on to greater. Amen. I uh, pray that you, you, you're, you're ready. We're going to break it down. Moving on to greater. Uh, the word of God says the night is far spent. The day yes. is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Mm -hmm. Let us walk properly as in the day not in reverently, uh, drunkenness and, and lewdness and lust, not in strife and envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And here's the part where many folks in today's church are getting tripped up. This, at the end of the scripture, it says, make no provision for the flesh. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. To fulfill its lust. We got too much flesh alive mm -hmm. in our churches. And God yes. said, yes. uh, it's mm -hmm. time to crucify this flesh. It's yes. time 
to put our flesh on the altar. Amen. 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 Uh, God don't want us to be operating always in the fresh, uh, flesh realm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so uh, the only way to crucify flesh is get on the altor. Come on. Mm -hmm. yes. Come on, yes. somebody. Yes. I, I, yes. I can't sugarcoat it. Yes. There's no other way. Mm -hmm. The only way to get our flesh under submission and under control by the power of the Holy Ghost is get on the altar. Get on your knees before God and cry out to God. God, my flesh is trying to, my flesh is trying to uh, control this, but our spirit man needs to be in charge. Amen. 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 God is calling the body of Christ to a more intimate relationship. Mm -hmm. Amen. A deeper love for the things of God. A holy passion to see souls saved. Amen. Well, one of the things we, we got to do is, is get that passion going again. God, when I see my coworkers, when I see my family, I just don't want to see them as roses. I want to see them through your eyes as souls that need a Savior. Amen. Amen. Souls that need to be healed and delivered. And uh, what we our mantra for 2021, the urgency is now. The urgency of now. Amen. Don't put off. Don't put a, it's on us right now. We can't afford to waste time like we got all the time in the world. Because time ain't waiting for none of us. Amen. Amen. I want to ask you a question now. And if you want to answer, it's fine. If not, you can type it in. It says, what do you stand to lose by surrendering all to God? What do you stand to lose by surrendering all to God? Think about that. Think about your stand with God. Uh, what do you stand to lose? If you give your all to God, what, what is it going to cost you? What are you willing to pay? What are you willing to give up? Come on, think about that. Amen. What do you, what, uh, what do you stand to lose by surrendering all to God? To God. Now let's let's turn that same question around. What do you stand to gain mm -hmm. by surrendering all to God? Come on, y'all. Mm -hmm. What do you stand to gain by surrendering your all to God? Because God can't use a person that is not surrendered to mm -hmm. his will. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our will must be broken to the point where it says, God, not my will. But your will be done in my life. Mm -hmm. And so you have to ask yourself, what do I stand to lose by surrendering my all to him? And what do I stand to gain by surrendering my all? Because God, I'll tell you this, no matter what you sacrifice, you will never outgive God. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. No matter Amen. how, whatever, whatever it costs you in the natural, God will always supersede whatever yes. little bit you yes. give unto him. Yes. Hallelujah. Nothing but a drop of the bucket. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everything mm -hmm. God does is good and perfect. Yes. And he will always give you more than we can ever give him back. Yes. 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 All he is looking for mm -hmm. is a willing vessel. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. Mm -hmm. All he's looking for is somebody to say, yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he can work with a yes, yes. Lord. Yes. He can work yes. with somebody who is surrendered. Oh, yeah. He can work with somebody who walks in obedience. He can, he can work with somebody who's saying, you know, I don't have much faith, but what faith I do have, God, here I am. Woo! Yeah. You, may not, you may not be ready to walk on water, but you got to step out the boat sometime. <laughs> the thing is, he supplies that faith through the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. God will never put more, he will never put something on you and not equip you to handle it. That's right. That's Do right. you understand yeah. that? Yeah. Amen. He's that loving heavenly father who says, I love my children. I don't want to see death and destruction in your life. I want you to prosper in life. I want to give you what it takes to live an abundant life. But you got to say, yes, Lord. And you got to do it when God, see, a lot of times we want the bling of, of, of all the abundant life, but God carries us through a process where he, he, cuts, he cuts us on the inside. Yeah. 
We got to go through some surgery. We got to be cutting away some things. Y'all know no bad attitudes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes. You know no bad habits. Yes. Some bad associations. Mm -hmm. God, God will not put greater on top of our mess. That's right. Can I tell you that? That's right. That's right. Amen. If we're going to move on to greater, we got to go through a process of pain and suffering. Amen. <laughs> and and many, uh, many of times I've studied, and I, I've just questioned, you know, in my heart, I'm like, why didn't God just give them the land? Mm -hmm. Why they had to fight for it? <laughs> why, why didn't God just uh, open the, the ladies, the sister's womb, and she just start having, why did she have to go through this and that? But mm -hmm. you know what I, what I, I come to understand? And even you can apply this in the natural. When you go through pain and suffering on, on something and you know what it costs you, yes. you're going to appreciate it more yes. than if somebody just keep handing you something. You understand? Mm -hmm. Amen. And my dad told he says, look, you're going to work for your first car. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just 16. Oh, but when you get off of school and you got to go to and work those fast food jobs and you making just a little change, you like got to learn how to save your money. Uh -huh. Because if I uh, provide for, if I just buy, you won't, you'll race and turn it up and don't, because my dad bought this. Yeah. But when you spend your money, uh -huh. you got to sweat. You got to put in some hours. Uh -huh. Oh, I ain't turning, oh, I'm washing my car today. <laughs> Yes, yes. 
That's the great that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. There are missionaries that said, you know, count on me, God. I want to go to that area where nobody has preached the gospel. They don't even speak English, but God, I avail myself yeah. as a vessel, God, because yeah. I know you got greater for me. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And that's when God begins to endow them with the power and equip them to do the job. Mm -hmm. Amen. God will never cause you to go out and not equip you, as Amen. I said before. Amen. 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 No matter what the labels that were given to you when you were young, you still got greatness in you. Come on. Amen. I don't care what mama now said, daddy now said, grandmama said, you're going to be just like daddy, just be mm -hmm. like Uncle Jim and all, whoever else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They have got a limited plan for it. They have a limited plan for your life, but that's not what God is saying about your life. Yeah. Whose report will you believe? So, so many people are missing out on God's uh, blessed plan for their life because they are tripped up by what somebody has labeled them. Yeah, and, and so it's good to always remind yourself, I know where I come from. Yeah. I know what I used to be, but I'm not that person no more. Yeah. Since I found Jesus Christ, my life is brand new. Yes. God has given me a fresh start to move on to greater. Amen. Anybody can say amen to that? Amen. Amen. Greater than the abuse you suffer at the hands of the people you trusted. Oh, yeah. Lord. Greater than the hell that you're going through in the trials of life. My God, this is getting deep, y'all. Greater than the specter of missed opportunities that keep hovering over your bed at night. Oh, my God, I messed up on that interview. Oh, I, I could have been this. I could have been that. And you play, you got, you having a self-pity party. Yeah. God's greater for you is better than that pity party. Amen? Amen. Amen. Some people are beating themselves up because they missed a prime time opportunity. Mm -hmm. But can I tell you this? When it's in God's timing and God's way, you'll never miss a moment. Amen. 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 When you line up with his plan. Amen. Mm -hmm. Greater than even the greatest moments you've had so far in your life. Because many people say, I'm living a good life. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. I, I don't want for nothing. I got food. I got a shelter. I got clothes. I got a car. I got money in the bank. That's not God's greater for your life. Mm -hmm. That's the basic necessary, the necessities of life. But God has so much greater. Get past the bling of life. Yes. Yes. God, what can I do in the supernatural that will bring glory to your kingdom, oh God? That's what God wants. Amen. Because only what you do for Christ will last. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is telling us tonight, he wants to release an extraordinary power in us by the working and wooing of the Holy Ghost in these last hours. Because if he can't depend on this church, who can he depend Jesus, on? Jesus, the world Jesus. can't do uh, what God is. God has said, I want to mm -hmm. equip my body. I want you. I want you. What Uncle Sam just said, I want you. Okay, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam. Yeah, he's the one that said, I want you. I want you to serve me. I want yeah. all of you. I don't want part of you. I want all of you so that you can experience greater in your life. Amen. And it's, it's, it's so necessary in this hour, church, you got to hear this, that all of us who say, I am a believer, I'm born again, I, God, I've given you my life. The next step is being filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 You don't hear that much more, uh, these days. You need the power. You need the indwelling power of the Holy Ghost. The, it is the keeping power. It is the power to sustain your life. It's the power that helps you not to uh, fall to the woo, uh, woo and working of the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. The Holy Ghost power. Oh, Amen. Amen. It's that power that God equips us with to do greater. Mm -hmm. It's the Holy Ghost that leads us and guides us into all truth. He's the one that says, look, in the wee hours of the morning, hey, I, in the morning when you wake up, just give me an example. I want you to go down to that food line, and I'm going to have a man standing there waiting. Just give me an example. And, and I want you to do this, and I want you to do that. And when the morning comes, you got to make the decision. Are you going to follow the working yeah. and wooing of the Holy Ghost, or you just think it was a bad dream? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Because when he speaks, he speaks in a small, still yes, voice. Yes, and many times yes. we just think we just dream and we just we just snore, you know. <laughs> we ain't paying no to But God has said, I need somebody who is going to be able to hear my voice yes. in these last yes. days. Hallelujah. Because we got too much noise going on. Yes. Yes. It's noise yes. out here. And people are saying, how do I know the voice of God? And the sad part, that question is coming from inside the church. Yeah. It's yeah. coming from believers who say, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. And you don't know your father's voice. Yeah. Come on, somebody. The time is now. It's urgent that we hear his voice. It's mm -hmm. time. Because you know what? The devil is talking. Mm -hmm. He is tricking people. He is getting people uh, deceived because they don't know mm -hmm. God's voice. Mm -hmm. And it's a sad thing in the church when you don't know your father's voice. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we, I, I, I've heard this before, and I think I taught on it. There, there could be a room full of people. Mm -hmm. One woman's little baby start crying. Out of all of the people in the room, that one mother said, oh, that's my baby. <laughs> well, like, how did you know? <laughs> everybody talking, everybody laughing, but the, when the woman, the mother said, I know the sound of my baby's voice. Y'all, y'all heard that before. <laughs> Amen. So how much more should we who are tall children of God's sons and daughters say, mm -mm, I know my father's voice. Yeah. And a stranger, I'm not going to follow I know his voice. I know when he's speaking. I know when he's, he's begging me. Come on, come on. Get your ear right. Amen. And the too, much, too much TV, too much distraction. You can't hear because you got your clutter. Too much coming in. You got music from the time you wake up. And I'm not talking worship music. From the time you get, you got the TV just blaring. Just all kinds of shows. You got music. And how can you hear when everything else is uh, blocking it? Come on. I know this, this ain't what you think. Amen. Good, sir. Amen. Especially, that's why we fast and pray. Amen. This is just the start of the new year. We should be fasting and praying throughout the year, Lord. Mm -hmm. You, you want to know why? Because there are times when we lose our edge. Mm -hmm. we, we lose our sensitivity. Yeah. We lose, we lose uh, the keenness. God, God, it seems like I haven't heard your voice in a minute. And God says, it's not my fault. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't blame God. God said it must be something you're doing that is, is, is separating. There's a disconnect. I remember Sunday, pa uh, Pastor Pat says anytime there is some attached, it can be detached. detached. Mm -hmm. now, it's no time to be detached from God. Amen. It's no time to be detached from hearing his voice. Amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. I know we have Bible stuff. You can talk to me if you want to. <laughs> Amen. Hey Amen. Can you believe God for greater in your life? Amen. You got to raise your level of ex ex expectation. Mm -hmm. You got to anticipate. Oh, God, I know you have more than God. I am mm -hmm. tired of the, the same old, same old God. I, I even hate going to work. I've been going to this job. It's bringing no fulfillment. It's bringing no satisfaction. God, I'm tired of running women. I'm tired of living this kind of life. Oh, God. You got to get to the point where you broke in and say, God, I, there's nowhere else I can go but to you. Up to you, oh God, where I surrender my all unto you. Amen. Amen. And God, God is God is saying, look, look, look. I see where you are. The thing I love about God, he don't come to condemn you because we have you missed the mark. Isn't that, isn't that all right? Amen. He says, look, I see where you are, brother so-and-so. I see where you are, sister so-and-so. But I'm not here to make you feel even worse than what you feel. I want to show you how you can get to a, the a greater on the other side. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. I will send somebody in your life that can speak life to your dead situation. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to be ever so careful who you connect with. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Yes. Too many people are connected with the wrong source of somebody that cannot speak into your life, and you're wondering why you keep repeating the same mistake time and time again. Keep going down a dead end road, and you're looking for a different result.
cross. Yeah. They told us when you do something like that, you're crazy. Uh -oh. <laughs> they said, how can you do something like that and expect different results if you ain't changed the basis of yeah. it? If you're not connected to the right people, God is saying the only way you will get to the greater on the other side, you got to disconnect some things. Amen. Amen. You can't be afraid to tell your friend. Amen. Hey, look, we we kicked it a long time. Look, we we had a good thing going. Right now, that season is over in my life. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be nasty. But you like, you know, I bid you Godspeed. Mm -hmm. Whatever God has ah, yeah. whatever God has for your life, I pray that God will show you mm -hmm. because I'm going another direction right now. Mm -hmm. My life is at stake. Mm -hmm. I feel the hand of God on my life. Yes. And I'm not yes. letting no one, nobody, and no thing separate Hallelujah. me from what God has. Yes. For my life. Yes. But you got to make that declaration. Mm -hmm. What is it going to cost you? Amen. 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 What do you stand to gain by surrendering your all? What do you stand to lose by surrendering your all? I believe in 2021, and I know my time is going. Are you positioning yourself to the possibility, listen, that God has a vision for your life that is greater? Amen. Uh, can you fathom, fathom in your own mind that God has something greater than I can possibly put in my mind, that I can even imagine. Yeah. That God, is there something I'm supposed to be doing? God, is, can you open up the eyes of my understanding and show me the pathway to take? God, I'm at the crossroad in life, and God, I, I hear, I'm hearing, and God, I want to do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I like how Ephesians 3 and 20 says, Now unto him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. God is able to take ordinary people and make them extraordinary. Mm -hmm. That's the good thing. You don't need a Harvard degree. You don't need mm -hmm. special education. Yes. God, yes. God yes. loves yes. taking the uneducated, the unskilled, yes. and put them in a place in power with the power of the Holy yes. Ghost. Yes. And you will never know. Mm. Unless you hear their testimony. Mm. Hey, man, I've heard testimony. A guy was a janitor at a big company. Mm. Mm. Uh, couldn't read, couldn't write. Mm. Oh, he went in faithful every day, sweeping the floor. Mm. God got a hold of his life, saved him, sanctified him, filled him with the Holy Ghost. Oh, he kept on is sweeping the floor. You know, when you got the power of the Holy Ghost, it makes everything different. Come on, yes. Come on somebody. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. When you got the Holy Ghost, God can do the uh, uh, extraordinary thing that is mm -hmm. it's impossible with the natural man. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All he was doing is sweeping the floor. And somehow his company said every employee got to take a test. Oh. <laughs> to be in, employed here, you got to take some kind of test. And he said, oh, Lord. You know how it's one of those natural results. I don't know how to read. I don't know how to write. And he, he began to pray and call on Jesus as he uh, uh, that test was approaching. He said, God, I'm going here. I'm going to sit down just like everybody else. I'm going to look like every uh, everybody else, but they don't know my story. God, when this test comes, God, I'm going to need your help. He gets in there at the testing site. He sits down at, at the table like everybody else. Uh -huh. He said, Lord, I'm waiting on you. <laughs> and after a while, he says, the Holy Ghost shook him, and he began to put A, B, D, E. You know those multiple. <laughs> <laughs> when he finished the test, they looked at him like, you maxed the test out. You did greater than everybody who had positions. Woo! Oh, on, I mean, that's not in his story. <laughs> God promoted an uneducated, uh, a person who could not read, could not write, took a janitor and made him a CEO. <laughs> Church, be faithful. 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 
Because you never know how God is going to take that faithfulness and elevate you in a position that you can't even imagine. Amen. Jesus, Jesus. You got to be available. Amen. He was just sweeping the floor. In the name of Jesus, I got the victory. Come on, somebody. Not knowing. And see, when you read the story about Eli Elisha and how Elijah rolled up on him, he was in the field plowing with his oxen. Yeah, yeah. Probably singing, I know it was the blood. I don't know what he was singing, but he was working. He wasn't sitting home watching soap operas. Amen. Uh oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like Bridgerton. Amen. Amen. But it's time now, saints, and my time is gone to take the limits off God. God wants to do so much more in us, but we got him in a box. Mm -hmm. We think it's only when we got a certain feeling that God can use us. And come on, leave all those cliches, put them on the altar and, and close the box. Don't just say, God, I'm willing to be used by you. God. God, I'm selling all out just for the cause of the gospel and for the kingdom of God. Yes, amen. 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 You know why uh, I, I love this lesson? Because many times we, we stop dreaming when so many of our, our natural plans have failed. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you this, and I'm one of them. When our, when our original plans from a young 13, age of 20 something, when, when that plan fails, we get a job that we just settle into. Yeah. And before we know, we in that job 20 years, 25 years, and it's not part of the call. Yeah. I'm like, my whole, my whole, uh, my dream job, can I tell you what my dream job was? Yeah. I wanted to be an iron chef. Certified <laughs> all over America. French cooking, all the other cooking. It's in my blood. Been doing food service for 40 years. But when I told you my story, when I went to that school and they showed me the spirits and the alcohol, I got to drink. It's, I, oh Lord, I can't drink and be saved. But I didn't. I didn't know. I, I didn't pursue. It. But I've been, since then, I've been in food service the rest of my career. Mm -hmm. Now, now that God has me in another capacity, I'm still experiencing what God has for me. Amen. Amen. I may not have it in the natural, but God has changed my story. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And I thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Don't let your dreams and hopes for greater die in the valley of complacency. My yeah. God. Amen. Complacency will kill you. Yeah. Complacency will kill your dreams. Complacency will kill your aspirations. Amen. Amen. So somebody's hope for greater, uh, it could be on life support. Mm -hmm. And God has said, I want you to get that dream. I want you to get that thing that you knew was in your heart that I put there. Pull it back out. Somebody is supposed to be writing. Somebody is supposed to be creating something. God says, I need you to get that passion back. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, I know I was supposed to be writing a book. I was supposed to be writing poems. I, I was supposed to be creating something. God had given me creativity. And I'm just sitting around. And you will never uh, be able to know your full potential if you don't work it. Yeah. Don't work your faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. God is telling us tonight, let's dust that dream off. Let's dust that, that passion that he has given us, and let's get back to work. Let's get back to planning. Let's get back to trusting God to lead us on to greater. Are you getting this tonight? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God sees greater in every believer. Listen to this. In spite of your failures, mm -hmm. in spite of your setbacks, mm -hmm. in spite of your lack of faith, in spite of your disobedience and divorces, all the things that uh, uh, could happen to you negatively, you know, negatively. Uh, negative. Yeah, that word. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Amen. God sees past your flaws. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God says, if I can use you just like this, why why are you worried about how you look? And how why are you uh, concerned how you appear to men mm -hmm. if I got your back? Amen. Yeah. And we are so concerned of our image in front of other people that we forget it's God working through us. Mm -hmm. We can't do anything greater on our own. Mm -hmm. 
We need the Lord. We need the power of God directing our steps. Amen. Amen. And I'm closing. 30 some seconds. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you this? Yes. God is not limited to your past. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Some people cannot move forward because they stuck in the past. Yes, that's real. They every time they think about moving forward, something in their past comes up. Yes. And it reminds you who you who you used to be, things you used to do, and you're like, I'll never do that because of my past. I had a baby out of wedlock. I was divorced, and I was this. I got fired. Everybody gets fired once in a while. construction job. It had rained the night before and they were, I was at, uh, on an air base and they were uh, leveling out the foundation of all the base housing, new base housing they get ready to build. I, they just hired me as a hard hand. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about construction. So I, I would guess I was supposed to be paying attention to the guy in the white hat. <laughs> Nobody told me to pay attention to the white hat. He watching me. I don't know what he wants me for because while that little machine is trying to spread the dirt, I'm standing. <laughs> Something tells me to this day I must have stood too long in one spot. <laughs> the man comes over and says, you can pick up your check Friday and don't come back. Oh. I didn't care because I didn't know what I was doing anyway, but I'm, I'm assuming they fired me. <laughs> you not still with me, please. I'm assuming they fired me. That's why I took it up. When a man tell you to pick the check up, I think that's the idea. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. The urgency of now. Amen. The time is now to move forward and move on to greater. Amen. I believe this is going to be a, a super year for many of us in this building. I believe, I believe there's no stopping you. If you stay on this road, amen, praying and fasting and obeying the voice of God, greater is going to happen in your life. I prophesy over your life tonight. Hallelujah. Heads bowed, eyes closed. Come on, raise your hands before God. Those listening by live stream, I prophesy over your life that greater is coming your way. Hallelujah. Greater is already in you. I pray, I'm praying that the Holy Ghost will open your eyes of your understanding and reveal God's plan for your life. Peace by peace. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, oh God, that you love us so with our flaws, with our failures, our setbacks, God. God, that that will not hinder your plan from moving forward in my life. And God, I thank you for that man and woman who says, I need to make a decision for Jesus Christ. Lord, save me. Come into my life. God, and I thank you that you will not cast them out or turn them away, oh God. We rejoice over that one soul that says, I want Jesus in my life, oh God. And I thank you for hearing our cry tonight. God, as we move on to pray to have your way in our lives, God. Bless our nation, God, that is under attack again, oh God. God, we bind the work of the enemy, oh God, who keeps raising his ugly head, God. The greater is in us, oh God, than he that is in the world. Have your way, God, as we go along the rest of the week, God, walking in authority and the power you have given unto us. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 How many of you know you're really blessed? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are blessed of God. 
Amen. And you need to walk with your head high. Yes, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to make some crazy decisions. But God's love never changes. Amen. 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 I pray that you have gotten past the aches and pains of your first few days of fasting. Amen. 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 I see some of you look like, boy, I'm on my last one. <laughs> I ain't going to say anything, but amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Truly, it's a sacrifice. It's afflicting of the soul. The greater reward is waiting for you. Amen. Get to the end. Remember, we taught about finishing strong. Mm -hmm. Yes, go. Yes, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. But stand. God, I need your help through the challenge. Amen. And when it, and when the end comes, I made it. Yes. You know, we said that Sunday, but we made it. We made it. Come on, y'all. I just Amen. need somebody to take the journey with us. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm with you. Amen. 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 We're going to do our benediction. Are you ready? The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Father, we thank you for a blessed rest of the week. God, help us to share your love with somebody else. God, we thank you for Brother Sam tonight as he's doing the audition at the school. Just follow yeah, order yeah. his step. Follow yes, his yes, yes, God, yes, that he yes, will have yes, the desire of yes, his heart. Yes, God, yes, for, yes, for your glory, oh God. Yes, God. And for his good. In Jesus' name. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.